Hi and welcome to SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. I'm going to be talking the Intercontinental Championship for you today. I'm going to be talking about the tournament that's currently on SmackDown. Um, it's interesting that it's been brought, by the way, to a tournament. A lot of people think it was a bit wrong that the belt was taken from Sami Zayn. I personally feel different. Um, I, I believe for all the time that a champion should be there. Um, I don't believe that Brock Lesnar should have always been champion when he came there once every two or three months so why should I feel the same if it's Sami Zayn it's not dependent on the character it is dependent on the championship and what it represents if a rule is 30 days that's it it doesn't matter if a guy's injured not injured I think that the belt should be on TV especially when it's something like the Intercontinental Championship which for me has always been a nostalgic uh, prestigious championship in my opinion one probably was my favorite championship growing up and I want to see it brought back to the level that it once was held in regard because I currently feel it doesn't hold that regard and I don't think it has since the last time the Miz held the championship so that tells you how long ago I feel uh, the belt has felt some sort of relevance within WWE. Um, I think this tournament can bring some relevance back. Uh, looking at the brackets and this is where we're going to go through it now, obviously Daniel Bryan and Elias have already gone to uh, the semi-finals of this. We've got two more matches in the quarterfinals which should be awesome by the way. Jeff Hardy and Sheamus on SmackDown. And AJ Styles taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I don't believe AJ Styles is permanently on SmackDown at this point. I think it is the brand to brand invitational. Um, I think it's a good way of bringing him over. And it's supposed to be one belt that he's never won, uh, same as Sheamus. So um, I think it brings, you know, it, it, there's some interest there. And if you look at Raw, Raw's got a lot of stars that could be in the main event or that sort of area. And I think that SmackDown could do with another name or two over there. So I think AJ Styles would actually fit the bill. And uh, if we look through in the tournament to give my prediction for the tournament, um, I think that with Jeff Hardy and Sheamus, uh, I think Jeff Hardy is going to go through um, to the next round to face Daniel Bryan, which I think will have some interest there, would make a very intriguing semi-final. And that way as well probably brings the less predictable factor for that semi. Um, I think AJ Styles goes over Shinsuke Nakamura. I think a lot of people want Nakamura to win the, this, this tournament so him and Zayn can have uh, their program when they return, which when Zayn eventually returns, which I think would be a good way to go. Um, but I think at this particular moment, I think they're going to go for people that um, can really elevate this championship further. And I don't think when Shin's been the champion the last couple of years, whether it's United States or IC, I don't feel I've had that same feeling with him holding those belts. I think that um, if it was me, the, the final, I would book Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. I'd have Sheamus cost Jeff Hardy the semi-final, can continue their rivalry going into backlash, and then you can have Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Championship. Make it a nice 20, 30 minute classic between the two, because they can do it and make it work. Um, maybe, maybe not 30 minutes, especially when it's no fans, but these guys can put on a masterclass of what that belt represents. Um, I like the message Daniel Bryan had saying that he wants to make that the belt. Um, and for that reason, I want him to win it. Um, but this current feeling, I currently feel that AJ Styles is going to be the guy to win it. But um, we'll have to wait and see because then AJ Styles can move over to SmackDown. Him and Daniel Bryan can continue a program going on till SummerSlam. So that's what I think will happen. That's what I want to happen. We'll have to wait and see if it does. But that's all for me anyway. Thank you for watching here on SCW, the wrestling channel. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back later in the week with another video. Take care and enjoy Monday Night Raw this evening.